Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the show. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you want to learn how to get started, if you want to learn how what teams are looking for, he does a great. He's one of the people I follow the most. He does a great job of breaking that down. It's another guy named like Sean McCants or something. He's in the Euro area. He's in the Euro area. He has a podcast where he talks about just being a being what's it like being a pro in the Euro. I guess that's where he spent the majority of his career. So I speak about the personal development and the it, the work that you must do internally to even have a career, period. Because having an agent, knowing who would decide to a coach, all that is fine until you're living it. And when skills don't matter anymore, what then? Because you're starting to realize how many people could do what you do and get a job over you. How do you keep that job long enough? How, what other things are you doing to make sure that you are, you know, relevant? There's gonna be people going, every year is better for the jump out here, quicker, faster, shoot better. And every category is gonna get better. What are you gonna do to stand out? And they're gonna be cheaper. So you have to get yourself to a level of where you're either using this time to create that high value skill or you're understanding that it has to be something more to this game than just my jump shot. That's why I created the book that I have in the bot in the description, you know, the traits, the six most, the six must have traits to become an overseas basketball player. Because the traits, that's in the it's, it just, I, it's funny to me because I just understand like <laughs> guys do not understand the personal development part of being a, a pro overseas. There's so much you have to do to stay relevant, and you just hear stories of God like, yeah, man, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna kill and I'm gonna do this, and my teammates are wild and every look at. If you understood that you should be talking and networking with them and being their friend and understand who their agent, who they work with, know the coach, become cool with the coach, regardless of what's going on, who this coach knows, who can refer to you because they're going to talk. So understanding how to even speak to them, how to get along, understanding how to smile, how to be interactive with the kids because the kids going to tell their parents about you and then they're going to come to the game. And then they love you and cheer for you extra because they love you. And regardless of what you do on the court, they love you as a person. Oh, he always smile. He always takes the pictures. He goes see the kids. He go all these certain type of things. And there's a difference between you just going and then you actually interacting, creating a feeling. Those are different types of aspects of the game. That takes you further. People, are, they always, some of the coaches good at talking about me. He get, he's not going to, he's going to talk more of me as a person, what kind of person I am, more than my game. Then they're going to say, oh, he's a great shooter. He's just, a, they're going to go talk to him. What kind of person you are first? What kind of person are you first? Because we're going to have to be with you for the next seven, eight months. Are you a problem? Do we even want to waste our time? You don't want to be caught in one of those situations because then you make a bad name for yourself. Getting back to this imposter syndrome, man, I detour, but that hey, it happens sometimes. So getting back to when I was talking with my friend about this, you know, it's just a that feeling. And I told him, man, I was telling him a lot of, you know, we just have to understand that there's more to the game on the inside of us that affects us, you know, fighting that inner gratefulness. And I gave him a tip. I said, listen, take out a piece of paper, write down 10 things you're grateful for and say those every day. Just repeat those. We don't have to do nothing too deep. We don't have to go further than that. Take out a piece of paper, write down 10 things you're grateful for and just say those every single day. Because we believe just because we finally start getting all the recognition for basketball, it's going to solve all our problems on the inside. And what actually happens is it just exposes 
the real the realness inside of us that we've been hiding and the feelings that's inside of us is that says like you know what i got to a certain point that i never believed that i could i could have reached and now i'm not even happy that i'm here because i thought it was a void that i was feeling if i got to this certain level in my career and when you get there you understand that it's not that it's not that and what i tried to explain to him and what i was trying to relay to him is to understand that it's about the inner gratefulness it's about the inner peace it's about the equanimity that you have in finding the perfect peace in yourself you enjoy your life by finding out the joy inside of yourself first. You find that inner peace, you find that inner joy, you find the things that you're grateful for more than the game of basketball. Like be grateful for the game, but be grateful for the air. Be grateful for the light. Be grateful that you got two eyes you can see. There's so many things to start and day off to be grateful for. And then you start understanding like, you know what? That's how I handle bad games. It's how I had them, um, you know, tough situation. Slops. You start understanding that there's more to this life to be grateful for. Like Kyrie said, you know, you're just chopping wood and carrying water. You know, you're just putting in that work and just falling in love. Kobe, you're falling in love with the process. Results don't really matter. You know, you just fall in love with the process. And you're like, yeah, that's just Kobe saying that because he's this and that. But when you start really getting deep, into the game and you and this is your career and this is how you move forward you start understanding that man why did i neglect this that's not really important until it is until you're struggling until you're on the top and getting everything you desire and you self-sabotaging yourself because you didn't understand that this is not this is what i thought was going to fill my happiness this is going to fill the void inside of me that's going to make me grateful and I'm going to finally make it. No, it's not. That will not. Just write down some things. I told him straight up. Write down 10 things, bro. We have to be grateful for the life. It's a gift to be able to play this game. We have to be grateful for that. But that's not all there is. There's so much more to be grateful for every single day. And we have to start actually being aware of that and saying that and acknowledging that so we could understand that to be true. We have to constantly remind ourselves daily, remind yourself daily to be grateful. It's a gratefulness makes the heart grow bigger. You know what I mean? There's a great book I would recommend for you guys like on this subject and understanding like this aspect. Cause I like to read books because they give you a lot of information and gems. Does this meet personally? Psycho Cybernetics, by far one of my favorite books of all time. I read it two, three times, or I'll read it again. And just it gives you that hope, that other perspective that you can take you to start applying these to your life. It just gives you that it goes so deep into your mindset, how it works, how you can use these gratefulness, like just tips to help you with your mindset to understand. And build the inner, like the inner you. How do you do the steps you take, the things you should think about, the way your mind works? You start understanding how your mind works and how you're affected by these things and things you can do. How to breathe. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe on our YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and wherever you listen to your podcast. I greatly appreciate it.